We are touching the hearts of our seniors for the 12 Days of Goodness on the Answers for Elders podcast network. Get to know what we're up to this season of 2021. And welcome everyone. It's December and guess what happens in December for Answers for Elders. We are actually getting ready for our great, big, huge holiday event where we get to touch the hearts of seniors throughout Greater Puget Sound with Seahawks Legends. And we have been so thrilled to be back. Let me tell you, everyone, we have a full calendar lined up that Seahawk Legends are going to be visiting uh, seniors in senior communities, such as senior centers, and we'll go through kind of the calendar of that. If you were over 65 and vaccinated, um, we would love to welcome you to these events. And to tell you a little bit more about it, we're very lucky this year because we have the president of the Central mm -hmm. Council of the official booster club of the Seahawks, and that is called the Seahawkers. Yolanda Morgan, I'm so glad you're with us. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Suzanne. You know, we're really thrilled you're here because this is the first year. I mean, you guys have always been helping us with 12 Days of Goodness for a long time. And of course, this is our ninth year doing the events, believe it or not, even though it's our eighth event, we weren't able to do it last year for obvious reasons with the pandemic. But we also want to make sure that we are honoring and having an opportunity for our seniors to connect. And, you know, they have been in quarantine for a long time, probably more than any of us. And, you know, it's so great to be back. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm getting so many phone calls from the senior centers and the communities that there, is this really happening? Are we really doing this? This is so exciting. And, you know, we've got uh, full houses, sold out events and things like that across the area. And so um, with a few um, extra precautions that we are taking, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in this show, um, Yolanda has been pretty much my right hand through all of this um, effort. And so um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all what the Seahawkers have been doing for us. And we're going to get into all the things you guys are doing, which is so cool, but welcome. And um, tell us a little bit, Yolanda, about the Seahawkers themselves and how you guys all got started? Well, um, in 1976, of course, when the team was even put together, uh, we had some fans who actually were talking about possibly putting together a booster club. Mm -hmm. um, they went to John Thompson, who was, of mm -hmm. course, at the time, the general manager. Mm -hmm. um, they actually uh, modeled after the Indianapolis Colts' um, booster club, which I don't oh, even know. Really? Yeah, which I don't even know if that even still exists. I'll have to take a look at that. Uh -huh. But um, that's what they modeled it against. And so in the very beginning, it was kind of interesting because they were literally, they were invited to, of course, the airport to see the players off. And we still do that today, of course, mm -hmm. you know, without an invitation, we just kind of go. And then we, of course, welcome the players back, win or lose. We're there, you know, of course, welcome, welcoming back with cheers and happy faces and all. But back in the day when this first started, they actually helped with flat tires. They helped with dead batteries. They helped with anything yeah. and everything that you could possibly imagine, you know, so they were literally kind of helping the players out and making them feel welcomed into the community mm -hmm. and going through some of the history and some of the things that they had done within the community. One of the other things that they actually had in place too, was an event where they put together a fashion show where they welcomed the new new players wives you know the new players who are coming nice. in. and then the existing wives who were either you know they were either still you know their their husbands are still on the team or they were basically going to be moving out um they basically recognize those women who of course are, i mean i gotta admit they've got to be a backbone to the player as well to have a they strong do. absolutely so that's something that i really would like to maybe bring back is yes. to be able to tie in with the wives and uh -huh. maybe do a fashion show, um, you know, maybe in the next, uh, maybe in the next year or so, you know, depending on what the, this pandemic does to our, our social. You're amazing. You are so amazing. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, looking back at how it started and everything, the other thing mm -hmm. that they did during the Christmas holidays um, was, or the, during the holidays was they rented out a space, I think, um, out in, uh, out by Sam Point, and they threw a Christmas party specifically for the oncology kids 
at Children's Hospital. Oh my goodness sakes. That was years ago. That was years ago, you know, and, and nowadays, um, I know since the pandemic, we haven't been able to do that, but our, you know, our Seahawkers have gone to Children's Hospital and have made meals for the families that are staying at Ronald McDonald House mm-hmm. and have provided for them, you know, and I don't think we've been able to do that since 2000. No, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, since 2019. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm certain that they're probably looking forward to this whole thing kind of going away or at least decreasing and allowing us to be able yeah. to do those things again. Yeah. But you know, with us being 44 strong, we have 44 chapters worldwide. Um, Five of them are actually, sorry, eight of them, because I forget that, of course, Canada is considered international. Um, We have eight international Mm -hmm. chapters. Um, We recently um, made or voted in Slovakia and Czech Republic as a trial chapter. Oh, wow. And also Spain. So those are the two international chapters that are tr- that are trial at this point. And then we have um, Heartland, which is Midwest. Um, that is also a trial chapter that we have on board. But the rest- is that an addition to the 44 or is that including- That is including, including the 44. Yeah, Got that it. is okay. all inclusive in that. And then, you know, we, I mean- We've had chapters that have been involved in this in this organization for years. The the ones that were first established were what they called East, North, South End, Metropolitan, and mm-hmm. South Sound. Now, out of all of those, the the one that's still in existence is South Sound. Yeah. And that is the one that is located in our Lakewood area, Tacoma area. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's it's really interesting reading about the history of this organization when some folks don't even really know about us. And so right. in the in the in the first two years that of course I've been president, we've been able to of course, spread the word of, you know, of the Seahawkers more so with, with this now partnership that we have with the Seahawks, which has been absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, they've counted on us to participate in many of the things they've, they've got going on within not only the community, but also how we can welcome or bring in our chapters that are, of course, right. located remotely. So that's been absolutely wonderful with, um, with what we've been doing with them so far. And, you know, like, like you said, we're, we're doing numerous things within the community and each chapter has their own specific charities that they, of course, focus on based on the makeup of their members. Mm-hmm. And it could possibly be because like, for instance, in Houston, they, they have a member there who of course has had an issue with um, kidney disease. So they pretty much will raise funds and will, of course, the proceeds will go directly to the PKD foundation down there in um, the Houston area. So Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's vast. I want to say I was trying to get the numbers for this last month in regards to how many members we have so far. And I believe we have close to 10,000 right now. Um, Wow. Well, and my goal is, so that stadium holds over 60,000 fans. (laughs) Yeah. And so, you know, I know it's, it's a huge goal and it might be a little much, but I mean, I'd like to see, you know, more than 10,000, you know, but at the end Absolutely. of my presidents, you know, my well, you know, it's interesting that you say what you say, Yolanda, because I remember, see, I'm a senior now I'm 65. So and all our listeners know that, but I remember when I used to go to the games in the kingdom with my dad, he was original season ticket holder. And I remember sitting there seeing all these banners up there like that would say Alaska Seahawkers or, you know, all these different types of, you know, uh, North, you know, Whatcom County Seahawkers and all these different signs that were up there. But I didn't really understand what it was. And I think one of the things that um, most of us it was it's interesting, too, because people will say, oh, that that's just the 12s. No. They are an exclusive elite, you know, organization that is pulled from 12s. Yes, every, you know, we're all 12s, but to become a Seahawker, it's really more of an endorsement by the Seahawks. It's an affiliation with the Seahawks and the team. And I think most importantly, it's collaboration with the community outreach efforts of the Seahawks, which really I think is so valuable 
in what's happening in our community and especially in the culture that we have with the team. So, um, and you have a very, very big role to play with this being the president of the uh, central council because you're a governing council, is that correct? Yes. Now, how do you interact with all the chapters? We actually meet um, once every other month. Uh, the even months are when we have our central council, what we call central council meetings. So we now all meet virtually. So there is approximately 44 representatives that, and that's, in, not, that's not including my board. And there's about 10 mm -hmm. of us that are on my board. So that's, in, that's about over 50, 50 folks on a call mm -hmm. that wow. we meet with every other month. And then we have leadership meetings every month and those uh -huh. aren't mandatory based on the topics they they can hop in or decide not to hop in based on what we're discussing. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, last August, we had a special guest. In fact, we had the president of the Seahawks, uh, Chuck Arnold, join us. Amazing. <laughs> so that was amazing. absolutely amazing to have him participate with the leaders um, and give us his input and his journey into, mm -hmm. you know, cause he started out as an intern, which was absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. And then to see him. Yes. He's an amazing human being. And, and, you know, I, I always say the Seahawks are an exceptional organization and, you know, we are so blessed to have them and certainly have the people like you out there that are helping to steer. And we're going to talk a lot about our partnership this year with 12 Days of Goodness. And um, Yolanda and I are gonna go into a little bit more history as well as talking a little bit about 12 Days of Goodness and what we're up to. So in the meantime, um, Yolanda, if somebody's interested in becoming a member, how do they reach you? They can actually go to our website, which is www.seahawkers.org and pretty much click on chapters. And from that page, they can choose a chapter and review. Mm -hmm. uh, which chapter is closest to them, but mm -hmm. pretty much anybody can join any chapter. They don't have to necessarily join a chapter that's close to them. They can join right. UK, France. Mm -hmm. uh, they can join any chapter. They can join any. Well, they they're both. Join, yeah. They can join numerous chapters. I was going to say, and they can be a member, let's say, for example, of more than one chapter. Is that correct? That's correct. That is great. So anyway, everyone, Yolanda and I will be right back right after this. This podcast was brought to you by our sponsors, Humana and Care Partners. We are so grateful for your sponsorship, as well as all the senior providers that came forward to make our events happen over the 12 Days of Goodness. To each and every one of you, have a happy holiday season 2021.